This is a story when I got scammed by an airline in such a way that it left me sitting speechless in my seat. Welcome to another trip report. Flying scam, eh, I'm sorry, I mean chair airlines from Zurich to the beautiful Greek island of Corfu or in Greek, Kerkyra, and I hope I pronounce it correctly better than when I was pronouncing Rhodos in my EG and flight review. Final destination today is going to be Rhodes. After a short bus ride from our new hometown near Zurich Airport, we arrived at the airport and went straight to the check-in area to drop off our bags. As you can see, there was quite a long queue and I wonder if the only one staffed counter could have been the reason. All the other counters further in the back were handling other airlines in a different queue. On top of that, Chair didn't offer online check-in for this flight, so there was no way around this mess. So while waiting, let's quickly check what aircraft we have today. It's going to be the expected Airbus A319 with the registration Hotel Bravo Juliet Oscar Golf. We are still waiting in the queue, but luckily a second counter opened up, accelerating the check-in process. The check-in experience itself was totally okay, and we even were offered seats in the emergency exit row free of charge, because they weren't able to sell them it seems. Yet they have to be occupied for safety reasons. And maybe? Maybe we got these seats offered because we are both fairly tall. If that's the case, thank you, Chair, for the consideration. We have passed security and reached our gate with some spare time to spend in the terminal until it's boarding time. And the holiday mood is rising. So the mood was still good, unknowing what's about to come. this Airbus A319 of Chair Airways, which was founded only in 2019 as the Swiss branch successor of the defunct Germania Flug and with a 49.9% ownership by Polish Enter Air, hence the blue in the Chair's color scheme. Chair sells the emergency exit row seats as comfort seat because of its added legroom. The regular seats have very limited legroom, as I had to experience about two years earlier. The high density configuration is also the reason why this Airbus A319 has two pairs of overwing emergency exits instead of the usual one. There will be no onboard food or drink unless you purchase something from their own menu or you could also have pre-ordered something on the website. Luckily, the legroom at the emergency exit is doable, as you can see.
exit door also functions as an armrest and the other armrest consists of the seat recliner knob and these media control buttons which however were of no use on this flight since I had no headphone with me and there wasn't any personal TV screen so I guess these buttons were for music the seat recline itself is one of the smallest I've ever seen, barely a few centimeters. This isn't something that bothers me though, especially in situations where legroom is very limited. The seat pockets are pretty spacious and since we had three seats for ourselves, we had plenty of storage room. We've reached cruising altitude, so it's time to get our lunch out of our bags. By the way, if you ever end up flying on a no-food airline like Chair or Swiss out of Zurich, there are multiple large landside grocery stores at the airport that will cater for a reasonable price. reached the Adriatic Sea and we thought it's a good moment to try out the onboard offering. What are you gonna have? Which one? Okay. And I'm going for this one. And that's the moment the whole scam got uncovered. Whenever you order something from a menu, wouldn't you expect to pay the price that is displayed in the menu? For example, three and a half Swiss francs for this Coke? Not when you fly with Chair Airlines. They take your credit card, charge you and walk away and only then you realize that you have been charged the correct amount but in a different currency, in Euros. Isn't that in part a definition of a scam? Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see how much I paid effectively. If I check for example on Oanda.com, I chose the effective amount I was charged, the total of 6.5 euros with the coffee and we add the typical credit card for an exchange surcharge of 3% since we did pay with credit card. And the flight was on August 26th. We actually paid almost 7.2 Swiss francs instead of the 6.5 as listed in the menu. That's almost 11% more. Once I realized it, I was so shocked about this scam that I didn't know what to say at that moment. It's not a huge amount of money, of course, but imagine we were a hungry family of four ordering drinks and snacks for a total of, let's say, 70 Swiss francs. We would actually have overpaid by almost 8 francs, which is more than what we paid altogether for our drinks. What a scam. After having recovered from the shock and having made the decision to never fly chair again, I decided to check out the bathroom. The bathroom was very clean, so not everything is bad about this airline. The basic amenities such as the soap towels and the coat hanger were available and even an ashtray. Time to head back to the seat and enjoy the rest of the flight, trying to suppress the disappointment of being a victim of scam airlines. The approach into Corfu was pretty bumpy, as the weather got pretty nasty. I was quite looking forward for the landing in Corfu, as this airport is pretty well known within the Afgeek community for its landings close to the accessible shore. safely and Inga could let go of my leg. Lassen Sie Ihre elektronischen Geräte ausgeschaltet oder im Flugmodus. Größere elektronische Geräte müssen weiterhin sicher verstaut sein.
Welcome to Corfu, where we will spend the next 10 days of our holiday. So the mood is up again and I'm not even going to moan about the one hour wait for our luggage to arrive. I hope you enjoyed this flight review and the much better video resolution since I'm using a different editing software. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. Have a great day and if you ever book this airline, be aware of what you just saw. See you next time.